Hi folks, Jeremy Simon with 3D Universe here. Uh, just bringing you a quick tutorial today on how to use NetFab Basic to take measurements from an STL file. So you might have a file in STL format which you want to be a very specific scale, but you first have to figure out what scale it is and how much you need to change it to get it to the scale that you want. NetFab Basic is a free tool that you can use to make that real easy. So I'm going to show you how that works here. Just go to uh, netfab.com, that's with two Bs, and uh, this is the page for the basic, it's uh, slash basic.php. You can download here with the link over on the lower right, choose the operating system that you have, and uh, you can then download that file. And uh, then you can open up a, a file of your choice in NetFab after installing it. I'm going to use the Raptor design from Enable here. This is one of the 3D printed prosthetic designs that we use, and that often requires a lot of scaling, so it's a good case uh, to uh, show for this. I'm going to open the Palm file here for the Raptor, and uh, this is what it looks like inside of NetFab. So what we want here is on the toolbar, the measuring tool looks like a little ruler up here. I'm going to click on that tool, and then I can use Control combined with click and drag to rotate my object around to any angle. Now what I want to do is I want to take a measurement across the inside of, uh, of let's say, the wrist joint to see where, how, how wide it is from one joint to the other. So I'm going to click on the inside face, and you see it drops a little blue point there. And then again, control, click, drag to rotate it around so I can see the other side. And I want to drop it right at about the same point relative to where I put it on the other side. And then, as you can see, it immediately puts the measurement for me. So again, I'm using control and dragging to rotate, and I can now see that I have a line going straight between those two sides that measures 54.98, or just about 55 millimeters. So if I wanted to uh, scale this for somebody who has a, a width of, say, 60 millimeters, we usually add, say, uh, 5 millimeters to account for uh, padding and Velcro and such, we would uh, go ahead and divide, so I'll take 65 divided by 55, which is the measurement that we got from our model, and that would give me a scaling multiplier of 1.18, or 118%. So uh, that's just a quick demo of how you can take a measurement off of an existing STL model if you don't happen to know how it is scaled using NetFab Basic and their measuring tool. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.